us this morning. Amen. Well, we're glad for everyone that's here this morning. As uh, For the ones who've just come in, um, you can see the pastor's not here. He had a very minor surgery yesterday um, because God moved. Yes. Um, it, it went from very scary to, um, eh, we can take care of that. So God was right in the midst of it. Um, we've had some dancing going on around here for two Sundays. He said that's not going to stop. He wants a praise dance for his healing to take off here today. So you better get your dancing shoes on. Uh, we're going to carry on and just lift up the Lord. So get, get ready just to enter in his presence and get your praise on. Let's just stand and open up with prayer this morning. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your love and for your mercy. God, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. God, I pray, Lord, that your glory, God, will fill the house oh, this yes, morning. Lord, God. God, that you would move, God, Lord, Have and your way, Jesus. let us enter into your presence, Father. And Lord, we lift Have up the way, pastor, Jesus. God, and we thank you, God, for his healing this morning. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we give you praise. Lord, let us enter into your presence with praise and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Oh! 
Shout it again. Shout it again. Go ahead. There's victory in this house. Shout it again. I free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, there's victory in this house. There's victory in this house. There's freedom in this house. Shout, I'm healed. Shout, I'm healed. Shout, I'm healed. There it is. There it is. Shout, I'm blessed. Shout, I'm blessed. Shout, I'm loved. Shout, I'm loved. Shout, I'm loved. Shout, I'm healed. I'm here! I'm here! I belong to you, Lord! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's victory. You better take it while you got it. There's a victory right here. Grab it out of the atmosphere. You better take it out of this atmosphere. Depression is broken in Jesus' name. Oh, sickness is gone in Jesus' name. There's a breaking happening right now. If you need it in your family, begin to dance for it. Begin to shout for it. There's freedom coming to your house. There's freedom coming to your house. Praise for those who are here. Praise for those who aren't here. Hold on, mama, 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 yeah. Your praise carries to those who aren't here. Your praise carries for those who aren't here. Your praise goes to those who are here. Your praise carries for those who aren't here. Your praise goes right where they are. Right now is your chance to dance for victory for the pastor. I want to see some shouting. I want to see some dancing. God move. It was you, God. It was you, God. It was all you, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, da, 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's yours. There's things falling in from the heavens for you this morning. There's things this morning. God is dispersing to you right now from the heavens. Right now from the heavens it's dispersing to you. Reach out and grab it. Shout out free. I'm free. I see it. The heavens are open this morning. Oh, la 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 la, ya Monday. What do you need? Oh, da ya la la la, ma 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 ma, ya ya de de de. Woo! Oh, la la ma ma ma, ya ya. Ha na na 
Go ahead, go ahead. Let me tell you, he's in the midst. Ha, ha. He's here, he's here. Ha, ha. Shout he's here. He's here. Shout he's here. He's here. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Ha ha! Come on, just worship, just worship. Press in, you guys. I'm telling you, there's something happening today. There's something happening today. Press in. He's moving. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. And when the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. God will never fail. Oh, no. hey. oh my God will never fail. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. Victory for the 
Just begin to declare that. Yeah. Right here. Right here. This is your victory line. Right here. We draw a line in the sand that the battle belongs to the Lord. That that from this moment forward, from this moment forward, we walk out of here saying, I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle. For the battle. No matter what I see with my eyes, I know that I walk in victory. No matter what I see with my eyes, I know I walk in victory. No matter my circumstances, I declare I see a victory. Oh, no matter how dark the clouds are, I declare there's victory. There's victory. Oh, you have victory because he overcame the world. Have victory. Oh, I'm not backing down. I'm not crouching down. Oh, I walk in victory. I won't back down. I won't back down. I have victory. I have victory. Victory. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in the mighty name. 
of Jesus. Hey! Yes. Oh, listen to this. And every war he wages, he will win. <laughs> and I'm not backing down from any giant. Cause I know how this
discouragement has to go right now we walk in victory I walk in victory I walk in victory What the enemy meant for harm, we turned it for good. He's flipping the script on the enemy. Ha! Right now, right now, the script has been turned. The script has been turned in your favor. The script has been turned in your favor. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh, I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. The battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And you take what the enemy. Oh, I speak hope right now to the hopeless. I speak hope right now to the hopeless. You thought that this thing was going to kill you. You thought this thing would overtake you. This battle was going to overtake you. Right now, God is restoring hope. Restoring hope that you are going to see a victory. Listen to the words that you will see a victory. That what this has come against you, God is turning it around. He's going to work it for your good and his glory. Mighty Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hope to the hopeless. Yes, Lord. You are stamped for victory. You have stamped victory on this season. Right here, right now. Stamped victory, Lord. Yes, oh. Yes, Oh, yes, Lord, because my God never fails. Oh, and my God will never fail. Oh, and my God will never fail. Just sing that out. Declare it. Oh, and my God will never fail. Oh, and my God. 
God will never fail. Yes, and my God will never fail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my money, Mighty Jesus. Waymaker, Waymaker, Miracle. 
Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you Stay in that, can you just stay in that peace, that presence of God? What a mighty, wonderful spirit that we have here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, it always just feels like everything's just a little bit out of kilter when the pastor's not here, but uh, we do need to take up an offering this morning. Um, Lisa's going to bring the word this morning. Um, I know that she has a great word for us. Brother James, if we could just have you come and take up the offering and... Um, When you get your offering ready, if you don't care, just put it in your right hand. Whether you have an offering or not, lift up your right hand because God was going to bless you this morning. Hallelujah. This is my tithe and offering, and it will do what God says it will do. The windows of heaven are open over me and my house and this house. And such blessings have been released that you do not have adequate room to contain them all. (laughs) And I am the seed of Abraham, the oath God swore to him is my inheritance. Therefore, I release my tithes and offering into the fertile soil of his presence. In Jesus' name, be blessed this morning. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And go ahead. Go ahead. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, he's that fourth man in the fire. And he's the one that walks through the waters and holds them back. Mighty God, he walks with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You ready? Sister Becky, I got a praise report. You know, Jerry went to the VA a Tuesday. Well, it started out. I got it. Before I got up, I got something in my eye. I've had that surgery in my eye. God took care of that. Thank God. But I thought, Lord, am I going to have to put up with something in my eye all day going to the VA? Well, I was walking through the kitchen. I'd tried to get it out, and God said, pray. I just grabbed Jerry by the hand, and I said, let's pray. Let's get this out. And you know, within a few minutes, whatever was in my eye was out. You know, I said, God, I'll give you praise for this out. And I give God praise. Hallelujah. And when we went to the VA, you know his hip. They yeah. said it was his hip all yeah. along, the doctor did. Yeah. Got in there and... She was the sweetest thing, and uh, she, I mean, you could have sat there and talked to her all day, the, whatever you call it, the surgeon, whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, she said, it ain't your hip, 
I said, looky here. I said, you got a little, for your age, you know, a little deterioration in your joint. She said, it's your sciatic nerve in your back. I said, where was it running? Down your leg? I mean, she described it to him. <laughs> I mean, right off, sister. Hallelujah. You know, I give God, I said, thank God, thank God. I, was a, I thought, Lord, hip surgery, hip surgery. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to accept that. Nobody wants to accept that. But you know, I thank God, sciatic nerve. I said, well, what can I do? Well, I said, a little therapy, take care of that. You know, <laughs> sister Mary. That's Mackie, God. That's, that's God. God. That's God. <laughs> Woo! God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, God takes care of us. <laughs> we may not, I'm, I know I'm Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, it may not be the way that we want it, but it, it will work out for your best what God wants. Amen. I have learned that along the way. It's been a tough year at times. But you know, God works everything out. Yes, he does. He does, and I thank him for that. I give him glory for that. Yes, he does. For standing with us, for being with us through the hills, through the valleys, yeah. through everything that we want. God's always there. He don't leave us. We might walk away from God, but God never walks away from us. Hallelujah. He hold to him. Hold fast. No matter what you go through, you may go through God, where am I? Where am I with you? What am I doing here? You know, but God's there. God's He's always there. He's always there. Amen. Amen. We don't have to always understand. We just have to trust him. He's a mighty God. We're gonna we're gonna let Lisa come bring the word this morning. Give her a hand as she comes. Give God praise, church. Hallelujah. God is good. I feel like we already had church. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just pray really fast. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for what you're doing right now. That you're moving right now in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for the miracles that have happened already right now in this place. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just ask that you overshadow us, Lord. Not our words, but yours, Jesus. We come with no agenda. We come with no pre preconceived notions. Lord, we just come to encounter you. Let your word encounter us. Wash over us. Your word is truth. And let the truth set us free. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So yesterday, I uh, was praying in the morning, didn't know that this was going to be taking place today. And in my prayer time yesterday, I felt like the Holy Spirit said, can you believe me for the supernatural? Can you believe me? And so I just said, yes, Lord, I can, I will, I want to. And so when I was praying I just, of course, I've got some scriptures I want to go over with you today, but that's a question I want to ask you all today, is can you believe God for the supernatural? Can you believe him for, for his miracles? Can you believe him for these things? And I know a lot of times we say yes, just like I did. I said, yes, Lord, of course I can. This is, seems like a really silly question you're asking me. But I also begin to think about how many times we say the word if. How many times we put limits on God on how... He can move this way, or if it doesn't move this way, did God, was that really you? And so I begin to think about how many times I've said the word if when it comes to God's promises or God's plans or God's will. And one time I was praying about something, and the Lord, he rebuked me straight up and said, you do not know how I'm about to move. Shut your mouth. Because I was speaking negative about something that God was trying to move in. That's how... It seems like a silly question just when Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Well, of course Peter's going to say, yes, I love you. He spent three and a half years with this man, devoted his life to him. It seems like a really simple question until you're faced with someone death and the person looks at you and says, you're one of them. And he says, no, I'm not. 
It's a really easy question until it's God saying, do you trust me to do the supernatural? It's a really simple question to say, I believe God when we have it up here or right here. But believing God comes from within and out your mouth. That's when we can honestly say, God, I believe you for the supernatural. I can trust you for the supernatural things. I can trust you for what you're about to do. And so I feel like that's what he is saying. And I'm just going to tell you right now, we'll jump to the end of this thing. I do not want to limit God. I don't want to live my life in fear. I don't want to live my life in doubt. I don't want to live my life in unbelief. I want to trust him and take the limits off of my mind and off of my thought process and break the spirit off of that, that it has to be this way or that way in the church, out the church, pants, no pants, whatever it is. I mean, how many times, do you know what it took me to wear this to church today, to stand up here? Do you know what it's like every time you come to church and I have to preach, what are you going to wear? I'm sick of it. Are you going to believe me and trust me for the miracles and don't care what you're wearing, girl? Are you going to believe me and trust me that I can move and it doesn't matter what you have on? It doesn't matter. God is bigger than all of us. He is bigger than all of us. He is bigger than our thought processes. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He is above us. And so many times we put him, we think, in this little box. I'm going to break it to you right now. He's not in your stupid little box. Your limits are. Your thought process is in that box. But God has never been and will never be in your box. He's not in my box. He's not in your box. He will never be placed in a box. Ever. So can we believe him for the supernatural? Can we believe him? For these things. Can we trust him for these things? And like I said, it's a faith. A lot of times we think faith and belief, we have to think it. We have, no, it has to be in here. It has to be in your heart. And we'll get there. So turn to Mark 9, 23. Listen, last week, Pastor talked about issues. This week, I'm talking about taking the limits off. So we got rid of issues, and today we're taking limits out. <laughs> Praise God. How awesome was last week, by the way? That was awesome work. Who loves slow dancing with Jesus? I was stuck behind that piano, but trust me, in my mind, me and Jesus were slow dancing. It was awesome. I loved it so much. Just, I've, I've been feasting on it, so that's why I mentioned it. Mark 9, 23 says this. Jesus is speaking, and he said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. All means all. Amen. Everything, Tony. Everything. Can I tell you this? This is what the Holy Spirit spoke to me when I was getting into this word yesterday. He says it means your finances too. Uh-oh, Uh-oh. I did it. I said it. <laughs> finances. <laughs> and here's what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said this. He says, so many people won't trust me for the finances because they feel guilty because they put themselves there. God says, I don't care how you got there. He don't care how you got there. He wants to set you free. Can you believe him in all things? Can you? And, and so many times, I'm going to tell you right now, there's people in this room, there's people that are watching on Facebook right now, that you're in situations, you put yourself there by choices and decisions, and you're like, I can't trust God to deliver me. I'm trying to set myself free. I'm trying to get out of this by myself. And God says, why? Do you trust me? Because I don't care how you got there. I want to know, can you believe me to get you out of it? I'm telling you right now, God does not care how you ended up in the situation you're in. You're in debt, fine. God's going to set you free. Just don't go back to it. Just like Egypt. God brought him out of Egypt. He didn't ask him how they got there. He said, I heard the cry of my people, and I sent a man to deliver them. God hears the cry of his people this morning. He says, I sent a word to deliver you and set you free. Can you believe me for this word? He says, if you do, all things are possible. That includes your finances. That includes your relationships. That includes your family. All things are possible. He doesn't care how you got there. Sometimes we put ourselves in the pit and somebody else puts us in there. It doesn't matter. He sent a man who says, if you can believe, all things are possible. It doesn't matter how you got there. God does not care. All means your healing, your deliverance, your family, strongholds, broken, darkness pushed back. If you believe. <laughs> Can I have one? Sorry. Singing and now talking got dry. No longer 
will we allow the enemy to lie to us? No longer. How many of us have agreed with the lies of the enemy? I put myself here. How many of us have said that I put myself in this situation? Stand up if that's you. Oh my shot high Monday shot on the high. Oh my daddy day hey shay. Right now, it's broken off you, right now. I mean, shake it off. I want you to take your arms and begin to shake off that lie. I am telling you right now, that lie is broken off of you. It doesn't matter. We will no longer agree with the enemy. I put myself here. No longer will you leave a slave to the lies of the enemy. No longer will we live a slave to these things that says, I put myself in this place. It's broken in Jesus' name. Right now, I feel it gone. I feel the release right now. Give him a shout. You can be seated. I'm telling you right now, it's the time of the church. It's a time for the believers. And we have too many unbelieving believers. It's time for the believers to rise up. It's time for the church to rise up and believe that God is capable of all things. We say it, but we don't live it. We say it and don't show it. Our speech betrays us just like it did Peter. Just like it did him. If God... What? No, it's if you, not if God, if you can believe. Take that out of your vocabulary. Trust me, I'm taking it out of mine. I am preaching to Lisa Chapman more than I am probably you. But I am telling you, we have to take that. It's not if God, it's if you can. If you can believe. And he doesn't ask you to have this grandiose faith. He says, muster seed faith. Mighty Jesus. We're taking the limits off. It's time for the church and I'm going to talk to this local body. It's time for this local body right here in House of God Worship Center to take the limits off of God. Take it off. God wants to move in this place. Take off the limits. He wants to set us free. He wants to bring the lost in. We have to begin to declare it with the mouth and say, I can believe all things in this local body. I'm talking to you, House of God. House of God Worship Center. It's time for us to rise up. God is calling us. Can you believe? Can you believe? We will rise up in truth. We will rise up in love. And we will see that the signs and wonders begin to manifest. We will refuse to hold back anything from God. Sometimes when we feel like we put ourselves in those places, we hold that back from our heart. Sometimes I've made mistakes in different areas of my life, and I'm like, God, I'm not going to let you do that because I messed up really bad. We're not going to hold back from the Lord any longer. We're going to give all to him because all things, all things, all things means all means all. All things are possible. Hallelujah. Give him a clap of praise. in Jesus name can I just give you a piece of advice if you have a mortgage if you have a car note if you have something like that every time you write the check Leslie knows what I'm about to say you write it and you say this debt's paid in full and watch God pay it off for you every single one of them God's going to pay that off for you I'm telling you I heard I'm not it's just not what God's speaking to my spirit God confirmed this even through a prophetic voice that he wants to give debt cancellation to his people God was speaking this to me, and I listened to a prophet last night that said, God wants to give debt cancellation to the Christians, to his believers. Every time you write that note, every time you pay that bill, my debt's paid in full. My debt's paid in full. And watch him cancel it, Brother Dean. Watch him cancel it. Thank you, God. That's awesome. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to go over to Matthew 8. I'm really simple and really short-winded, so... We're going to go over to Matthew 8, 13. So if, if you feel like this is simple, it is. I'm simple. He is. He's simplicity, isn't he? 
Okay, 8.13 says this. This is Jesus talking once again. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. So Jesus is out and about. This is, you guys know the story. The centurion comes to Jesus and says, My servant is laying paralyzed, tormented. He's in pain. He needs to be healed. And Jesus is like, Okay, I'll go heal him. And he says, No, you don't have to go. Just send the word. I'm, you know, I'm in place of authority, so therefore I know authority when I see it. So if you give me a word, it would be healed. He'll be healed. I know that. And Jesus said he had never, he marveled, and he had never saw such great faith, not even in Israel. Do you know Jesus, the Bible says Jesus marveled two times in the Bible? Once he marveled at belief, and this, the first time he actually marveled at unbelief. It, he couldn't believe it. You don't believe? So I love that, that Jesus marveled at his great faith. So the satyrian said, he's sick, I need a word. Jesus sends the word. He marveled at his faith. And Jesus says to the centurion, as you have believed. And I was thinking about that because sometimes I don't think it's a lack of belief. I think it's how much you believe. I think that, sure, I believe God wants to assist me and stretch the dollar to pay my bills, but do I believe that he'll pay it off entirely? I just go to the bank and there's zero, there's not a bill to be paid anymore. And sometimes I think we believe, well, God will heal this, but this is really big. You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes we just believe just enough. Nothing's too big. Nothing's too big. And can I tell you, God's not just enough kind of God. <laughs> he is more than enough. He calls you to an abundant life. He says, I give you life and give it more abundantly. God is not calling you just to enough. Sometimes we believe just enough. Because we wear this badge of honor of, it's my cross I have to bear. Ugh, what a stupid lie the enemy has penetrated in the church. i got to carry this cross. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. My God carried it for me. He says, take it up and follow me, but I'm easy and I'm light. You ain't got to be weighed down. He says, lay down everything that besets you. Lay down every heavy weight. He says, as you have believed. So I, I thought about it and I said, God, if you were to say that to me, what would I have? If God were to walk in this room, Jesus walk in this room today, and he looks at you and says, as you have believed, what will you have? Just enough or more than enough? Think about it. Can you believe? That's the question. Can I believe? And what are you believing for? Just enough. Just enough so I can get a little bite to eat. Or my cupboard's full, overflowing, my bill's paid, I'm serving God, I'm walking in victory. What do you believe God for? As you believed, so it's done to you. So what's our belief? Do we believe for just enough? Or can we believe for more than enough? Can we believe for his abundance? I believe for his abundance. It's, he's more than enough. He is abundant. Can you believe in waiting? Let's look at Luke 8 and 11. Sorry, I want my dad up there. I don't Sister Karen. Okay, so you're going to, I'm asking for a little liberty here because I'm jumping in the middle of a parable. Maybe I told you the wrong verse. No, it's 8.13. Sorry. I'm going, to, I'm going to jump in here. And this is where he's talking about the sower. So basically, it's kind of like the soil parable. And it says, but the ones on the rock are those when they bear, hear, receive the, the word with joy. And these have no root who believe for a while. And I want to, I want to focus in on that because when we have to wait, for that bill to be paid, when we have to wait for that healing come, when we have to wait for that promise to be fulfilled, we believe for a while. We receive that promise with joy like, ooh, yeah, I'm going to get that husband, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that. We're so excited. And then he don't come. That bill ain't paid, that healing's not there. And then what happens to our belief? We believe for a while. 
And I see that. Y'all been in church my whole life. I see that all the time. You'll see people that are so head on, strong in the Lord. And you'll, you'll see here, they don't have any roots. They're not rooted in that word, Leslie. Like we tell, we taught those kids all the time. Read your Bible, speak in tongues, do all these things. And so <laughs> all the time, pray in tongues, read your word. This is what's going to root you so you can believe for a long distance. Do you guys see why we tell you to do these things? Because we're trying to get you to endure through the end. We're trying to get you to endure through the hard times. Because there's a lot of times we sit in church and we're disappointed. And let me tell you, God does not disappoint. Your disappointment is because you thought it was in you. You thought it was going to happen this way. And God says, hang on, that promise has a fulfillment date. So you got to believe for a little bit longer than just a while. you got to hang on because I'm working it out. you got to hang in there because I need you to take root in some word. Go through some things. Bear some fruit. And on the other side side that's where it's going to happen i need you to believe longer than for five days i need you longer sometimes for a year can you believe longer than a year and not see anything that's a, that's what he's asking can you believe for 20 years walking in it girl would you <laughs> yeah can we believe in it can you believe He's the God that doesn't lie. Yes and amen. He's never slack concerning his promises. Do you see y'all preaching to me? Thank you, Jesus. I love the word. That's what's going to take you through those scriptures that you just quoted to me. That's how I know you can believe for longer than a while. But can I tell you, there's churches filled today. Kids, teenagers, young adults, young couples who are on the rocks walking into churches today saying, I can't, this, is, this isn't working anymore. There are people walking into church saying, I can't do this anymore because they have no root. They're believing just for a little while. They think they haven't seen God, and God's like, I'm right here. Can you believe, can you believe me for longer than a little while? Can you believe me that I can do what I say I'm going to do? I have a demonstration. I was praying, and... Mark eleven twenty four. I'll read that before we go on. Excuse me one moment. Before we go on. It says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Speak as if it were. When you pray, you got to believe you already have it. Just like today, I believe that you have victory regardless if your circumstances change. You may go home to the same mess, the same argument, the same fight, the same trouble, the same darkness, the same everything, but I believe right here today the enemy was to push back. I believe that you have victory. I believe it happened. I believe that miracles took place right here this morning. So, I was praying, and the Lord told me to prophesy. I heard this word, these two words. He says, release miracles. And that's all he said. And when I heard that, I heard an explosion happen in the spirit room. And the next thing I know... I could just see us crushing boxes and taking out the limitations. There are things that have been spoken from this pulpit that has been hard to believe. That our ears are like, that's a lot. And God says, release miracles. This morning, release miracles. There have been things, 10,000 souls, how many of you just, like your eyes went bugging for a second? Who? We, we can't fit two, we got 250 max in here, Pastor. There's things that are prophesied from this pulpit. A lot of us find it hard to believe sometimes, myself included. I'm not saying we doubt it. I'm just saying if, when you first hear it, you're like, ugh. It hits you like a brick. But I feel like the Spirit is saying today, take the limits off and believe. Take the limits off of in, in our mindset of, it, of how we think it's going to happen. Do you know how many times I want to work it out for God? Well, if I do this and then you do that, then this will work out. He says, enough. Trust me to do the supernatural. 
can you believe me to do the supernatural? Luke, I'm going to actually ask you to do this if you don't care. I'm going to throw this box down here. Y'all can stand up and rejoice if you want to at this. Luke's going to step on this box. And when he, when he does, I'm telling you, there's going to be breaking in this atmosphere. The glory of God is going to come down, and the limitations are going out the door. Go, right now. Every limitation, every mindset, every thought, crush it. Every limitation on this house is broken in the name of Jesus. Every mindset is broken in the name of Jesus. We will no longer work in limitation of God. He can have his full reign. He can do what he wants to do. And today, by the power of God, through his blood, through his word, I release miracles in this house. I release miracles to your house. I release miracles to your house. I release miracles in your life. Believe for the impossible. All things are possible with God. Right now, release miracles in this place. I release a fresh fire right now. Of the Lord, I heard it last night. Fresh fire is falling in this place. Fresh fire is falling in this place. Raise your hands and begin to receive it right now. Fresh fire. Revival fire. Fall in this place. Fresh fire. Fall in this place. Fresh fire. Fall in this place. Hamahashe. Holalanahashe. Holalamandeheshe. Holalamahashe. You guys already know this, especially seers. This portal that's open right here, I want you to know angels are coming to get and they're bringing back. They're ascending and descending. You better receive it. What you need, they went to go get it. There's a breaking. There is a breaking. There is a breaking. There is a breaking. No longer the same. I hear the word stuck. I feel stuck. I hear the word stuck. I feel stuck. That's breaking right now. Come out of the mud. You're, you're unbroken. You're unstuck right now. There's newness. Newness of life. Resurrection of life right now. You're not stuck any longer. Belief will put you into action. Belief will put you into action. Faith in action. By faith, Abraham went. By faith, Abraham obeyed. By faith, Sarah received. By faith, they crossed through on dry land. By faith, the walls came down. Faith will put you into action. Breaking, 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 breaking. There's a breaking. By faith they subdued kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness is coming down. By faith they worked righteousness. By faith they obtained promises. By faith they stopped the mouths of the lions. By faith they quenched the violence of the fire. By faith they escaped the edge of the sword. Out of the weakness were made strong. Became violent, valiant in battle. Turned flight the armies of the aliens. And women received their dead raised to life again. By faith. By faith. We will do these things. No more. No more limitations. Go ahead, girl, receive that right now. Leslie, go lay hands on her. Break through for her right now, Leslie. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. No more the same. No more the same. Almighty God. There's breakthrough. Hola Mahashe. I declare a glory explosion happen in this county. Hola la mandaria daria hashe. Glory explosion right now. God let your glory begin to just bomb this area in the name of Jesus. Hola la ya. There's healing taking place. 
Tony, there's healing taking place in this. I feel it. Mighty God. Mighty God. Fire of God. Ooh. Can you believe? Can you believe right now that fire is falling in this place? Can you believe right now miracles are taking? Can you believe? If you can believe, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. Brother Dean, God will show you he can do the impossible by doing that in your house. Believe for the impossible, Dean. You and I had a, a talk over here about your family. Believe for it. Can you believe for it? Yeah. Sheila, he will show you how good he is and what he can do by the, the little things. So we can believe for the big ones. Can you believe? Can you believe? Come on, just worship, just worship. Sometimes you're looking to me, don't. Look to him. Worship the Lord. He's moving right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, press in. Press in. He's wanting to do something. Don't give up yet. Don't give up. Are you going to give up that quickly? Believe for a while. Believe for longer than a while. Come on, come on. Come on, it just takes a little bit. It just takes a little bit of pressing. I need you, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going. You don't need a song. You don't need, you don't need any help from us. Come on, go in. Go in. He's calling you. The Lord is calling you into his presence. He's calling you into his glory. He's calling you into his throne room. Just you and him. Just you and him right here. The limitations are gone. We crushed that box. It's gone. There's a breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom. Freedom's taking place. Oh, we worship you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Nothing is impossible. There's nothing impossible. Just pull that need up in front of him that seems like an impossibility and let him take it. Just call it up right before you. Nothing is impossible. Lost family, God, I give them to you. Nothing's impossible. Finances, God, I give it to you. Nothing's impossible. Your problems, your situations, right now, God, we turn them over to you. We turn them over to you. Nothing, nothing's impossible. Right now, whatever your situation is, I just want to tell you, we send the word to that. that. I feel like we just need to send the word to people who aren't here, our family members, our lost loved ones, whatever. God, we just send the word. Your word is truth. And we send the word, God, to those situations right now. Just like the satirian, as you have believed, so it is done to you. Oh, I believe. I believe oh, all things for all things I just want to speak over us that we'll be careful of our speech going forward that we'll take the ifs out of God's promises and declare that they are yes and amen I just speak over us that we'll not let the negative words defile our promises or delay this. God, we will believe you for the supernatural. We'll believe you for the impossibility. We'll believe you that you, will, you said it and you'll keep it, that you'll do it. All things are possible, Nicole. God says 
all things are possible. Our praises the inhabits our praises Rest in your presence, Lord. Keep, keep hearing and it's scriptures but I keep hearing that the Lord has gone before you that he says I'm going before you I've made the crooked path straight and it's a new way so God it says let me be your light and I'll, I'll take you on this journey I receive that even for myself there's places that he's taken us that we have no idea what's ahead of us but God we trust you and we'll believe for it If someone needs special prayer, we'll, we'll pray for you. Just rest in his presence. He is ministering right now.
Sometimes it feels when there's nothing happening. You think nobody's saying anything, nothing's happening, but I'm telling you, so much just happened in the last few minutes in silence than it did the whole time I was speaking. Right there, the Spirit was doing way more than any word could have given you. Sometimes we just have to sit in His presence, you guys. That's where rest is. He's so gentle and kind. I love it. I love to shout too. I love to run and dance and all that stuff. But sometimes right here is what's needed. As we were sitting in silence, this is what happens when you sit with the Lord. He gives you things. He gives you revelation and he'll come and just show you things. And so when we were here worshiping, I was like repeating my message to myself, can you believe it? And God says, when I get done, you're going to say to someone, can you believe it? What God has done for me. Guys, hang on. Take the limits off. I'm telling you, things broke off in this place today. There is a, we release things, things are broken off. I'm telling you, we started with issues, now we did limits. I'm telling you, there's no telling what God can do now. Mighty God. I'm telling you, we have to start walking in that. 
I'm, I'm going to challenge you to when you walk in this place, you raise your faith up. I'm going to see fingers grow back. I'm going to see legs grow back. I'm going to see the dead raised. I'm going to see the paralyzed walk again. I know when you look around, we see a small crowd. But let me tell you, God does not see that. He sees a hungry people, a people that want him, the people that want his presence, that want his glory. And he says, I'm going to move through that. I challenge you to walk in here and raise your faith. Jesus, help me to raise my faith. I'm preaching at Lisa too. No more unbelieving believers. We're going to be believing believers. Amen. No church? Anyone else? Anyone else? Can we believe it? Can we believe for these healings, for these miracles? Amen. Amen. Yes. Can we all just pray? You can sit saying that's up to you, but let's just pray for these needs right now in Jesus' name. God, we just bring ash before you right now. Lord, we send the word. God, you sent your word to heal our diseases, so I speak healing over him right now in Jesus' name. And to this woman who has cancer, Lord, in her major organs, God, I curse that cancer like you cursed the fig tree, that it will not produce anymore, that it will dry up in the name of Jesus. And she, her body will begin to produce good cells, Father, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. This will be a walking miracle, God, for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord God, we pray for these requests, God, the, the people that Sister Mickey gave in requests, God, that you go to them, you send healing, God, you send your strength, God, you send your power to them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and minister to them in the way that you, they need ministered to, in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe it. Say, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> yes, by faith. It's impossible to please God. Thank you, Jesus. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Let's not forget that part. So thank you, Jesus. By faith, he will reward you for seeking him. Hallelujah. Um, I think we... Yes. Let's pray over this, yes, and we'll agree right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we will come to the Lord for peace and love right now. Lord, we send the word to the Lord for this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, let Lisa take care of church this morning, you know, let everything move ahead as, as usual. And then he said, you know, if y'all feel, it's, it's, for me, it's hard to call off a service after this kind of atmosphere. But do y'all do y'all want a small worship service tonight or do you want to call service off tonight? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to call it off. <laughs> Brianna's got to go to school. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to come out and have a have a worship service and spend time in the presence of the Lord. The coming out wins. <laughs> so, all right. Well, yeah, we'll we'll definitely have church tonight. It's for me. It's hard to, um, you know, if we if we don't if we come out here and um, have a testimony service and read a scripture and you know meditate in God's 
in God's word, you know, that in God's presence, that's, that's good enough for me. Um, so there you go. All right. You guys raise your hand. You better be back here at 6 o'clock, ready to worship.